Greetings! Welcome to round 542 or whatever of another video featuring Stallion versus passing assistance in FIFA. And now I can wholeheartedly say that if you disagree with the example today, then you do not want a rewarding game. You do not want a game that rewards you for good decisions. You want a game that punishes good decisions and rewards bad decisions. Now, the last time I made a passing video, as you can see on the screen, that's the one you can go check it out if you're interested. I showed you guys two examples and don't get me wrong, as usual, 99% of you always agree. However, in the small minority, the devil's advocates of the world weren't having it especially with the first example now i won't over it again but if you're interested definitely go watch that it's a good prelude to this today though we're going to be talking about this pass right here with adama traore and keep watching because i will break this down until there's absolutely nothing left now first things first before i break down the usual arguments that people try to use against me when i bring about passing clips like these let's look at it raw let's look at it ignoring all the arguments all the variables we will get to all of that but all in all i believe it doesn't matter at first glance in this scenario in this case there shouldn't be a variable a stat a chem style or anything in the game for that matter that allows for what happens to happen the reason is because here I am tracking my opponent right here I'm Varane and I'm tracking this way now the reason I'm moving this way guess what is because my opponent's runner is also going that way this is non debatable the runner is clearly going in this direction I don't care if my opponent has a crystal ball that tells him the future up his eyelids if you decide to pass here in this moment the pass should follow the run the pass should go this way also please for future references, stop tagging me in examples like these telling me to select my fullback and run upwards as a means to sort of resolve this issue. The run is central near my center back. It makes sense to select my center back and to start with my center back here. Also, there's no guarantee it would stop this. Do not underestimate the assistance in this game. And even if it did, this is a video to showcase what happens in these scenarios after taking these set of decisions and why I think it's wrong. It's not a video of please help me defend this. Okay, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for EA to see this and stop with this nonsense. But anyways, as I explained in the previous passing video on how the game computes decisions, this pass would have actually gone this way. That is the direction I had tracked and predicted based on, you know, the run. It actually would have gone that way if I would have been slow to select my Varane and I would have remained upwards and I wouldn't have tracked it. The ball would have actually then be played this way. That is simply how the game works. It makes the ball go where the defender isn't so that the bad decisions can work as that, and that's so that defending manually is useless. Because again, here I did the right thing and I tracked the run. I stayed parallel to the runner so that when the runner would have received the ball, I could have been there to tackle him. But as we can see, the ball doesn't go where the run was. In fact, the run was this way, but the ball, as you can see, ends up going upwards. And alongside with that, the run changes only after the pass is made, but more on that later. But his runner changing his direction only after the pass is made is essentially the game baiting me. And now at this point, we're at a very similar point to where we were in my previous passing video. This is where all the devil's advocates of the world come in with a few main counter arguments that try to say that this is not a problem. What I most commonly hear are the following counter arguments. Number one, maybe he was aiming there. Maybe this is where he wanted the pass to go. Number two, maybe he triggered that run that changes after the pass is made. How do you know he didn't trigger that run? And number three, he has a high passing stat with the passer. If that doesn't work, What's the point of a high passing stat? I'm about to absolutely demolish all of these three arguments. So let's start with number one, the whole argument about aim, that maybe that was his intention. Maybe he aimed where the pass went. All right, let's 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 actually assume that even though the pass should have been this way and the run is this way, let's just assume that my opponent aimed this way, right? Let's assume the analog is pointing this way. I'm telling you right now, that doesn't matter. I already proved this last video where I showed you aim is irrelevant with my own example. In FIFA, you're merely aiming to tell the game what player you want to receive the pass. 
the game does the rest. So for example, in this situation, my opponent is aiming in this general direction to tell the game he wants this to be the receiver. That's that. My opponent doesn't decide if the trajectory will be this or this or that. The example in my previous video, if you don't believe me, as you can see, this is where my runner was going, but the game moved the pass the other way. I'm telling you right now, I was aiming to where my runner was going. That is straight down the middle. But the game, again, moved the pass upwards the other way because my intention would have led to me losing the ball. So what happened to aim there? That's right, it doesn't matter. Aim is just you telling who you want the ball receiver to be, the game does and decides the rest. To clarify, I'm not saying the game should be on full manual, and I know some people think that, but I don't. Because if my opponent was on full manual and aimed where the pass ended up going, this doesn't solve the issue. The problem here is also that the run, like I said, is the way that it is. Yes, in real football, strikers start a run one way and then they change and adapt their run to the pass. But it's also true that many times, probably more often than not, in football, there can be a misunderstanding between strikers and the passers. And in those cases, the ball goes one way and the runner goes the other way way and the defense gathers the ball all of this is to say that we don't necessarily need manual passing we just need the game to stop assisting both the pass and the run my opponent didn't trigger his run upwards and i'll tell you why later what my opponent did is he decided to pass to this player in this moment when the run was this way i correctly read that and tracked the run and so the pass should have also gone this way. End of story. It's really just that simple. Argument number two is the argument that maybe he triggered the run upwards. How do I know he didn't? First of all, runs that are triggered in FIFA do not look like that. Those are only runs that happen by the CPU themselves. Runs that are triggered by us as humans with the L1 button and the use of the right stick are linear. Second of all, and most important, you can trigger a run and then after the fact, you pass. Here, however, it is clear as day that the run changes only after the pass is made. It is therefore impossible that he triggered this curved run before the pass because it happened after the pass. That's it. It's really that simple. Anyone who has spammed and played around with the manually triggered runs feature hundreds of times, the same way I have hundreds if not thousands of times, would have known the difference. Anyone who knows would have known the difference. Not to mention, this has been happening for years guys, long before manual runs were introduced. It is not a new aspect of the game and don't let a new feature just act as an alibi or as a distraction to what is really going on. Number three, the passer has a high passing stat. If a passer who has good passing stats cannot do that, what's the point of a good passing stat? Well, first of all, what's the point of playing then? What's the point of me tracking this whole movement with Varane on a shadow chemistry style, which makes him a defender with very good defensive awareness and very good interception, but he doesn't turn and get locked onto the pass the way his striker does. It goes both ways. Why are my defensive stats not counting for reading this correctly? Why does his passing stat trump my defensive stat? And that's just to play on your own argument. But overall, I would agree that good passers should have nice, clean, fast, crisp passes, but that's it. That's the extent it should go to. At that point, anything beyond that should be decision-making. They shouldn't cheat just because of a stat, and this is the game cheating me. Second of all, and arguably most importantly, <laughs> What are we even talking about? This is Adama Traore. Adama Traore with 72 short passing, 54 long passing, 67 curve, and 69 vision. Yeah, that one. Oh, he has a dead eye chem style, you say, that improves his vision to 79, his passing to 87, short passing, by the way, and curve to 72. First of all, does this whole situation look like a short or a long pass to you? Second of all, look even closer. You see that? Yeah, yeah, you see that. That's his left 
foot, ladies and gentlemen. Adama Traore is a right footed professional football player who on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team has been given a two star weak foot. Five star weak foot is the best. At two stars, you're one of the worst with your left. Okay, you basically don't have your left leg. That means even if it, that is a short pass, even with the chemistry style of Deadeye, that's not actually 87 passing. I don't know the exact negative multiplier a two-star weak foot has, but that's not going to be more than 60, assuming it's a short pass, okay? Assuming all the other visions and things don't play into it to lower that even more. So I don't even know what you're talking about with this whole stat thing. And if that's still not enough, and you want to go one step further and say that stats are not absolute. There are exceptions and maybe I was just unlucky and that was the one in 100 times that pass works with Traore. Then you're out of your mind, bro. Like I said, this pass should never play out the way that it does because I proved he didn't trigger the run. And I proved it makes defending redundant because marking a run is useless when the run changes after the pass is made. Stats are not a fair alibi here. This can work and will work with anyone. The game decides. Therefore, this has everything to do with this game's terrible passing assistance and reluctance to reward good decision making and reward manual defending and anticipation. The game doesn't know how to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.